So the sit restraint is so that we can comfort him and we can get him to be still. Because of his blindness, he's like a little hyper aware, which mm -hmm. totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. But there, see him settle his head in my hand there? That's what we want to do. We want to get to the point where when we do this, and he can lie down or sit, but it gives us a way to sort of calm down that sort of constant sensory hyper awareness. Sure. Yeah, there we go. I know. Especially in there we go. Especially in a new place. Right. Okay, and then the next thing is be still. And you know, usually we take them by the collar and we start rubbing their body. But with him, I would start with just a gentle press. I like his tail. It's just just a little bit of a wag there. And he's concentrating. That down tail is not submission as much as I think it's probably concentration. He's concentrating so much all the time. Uh, plus, he doesn't want to look really um, conflictual if he meets another dog or something. You said he gets along well with other dogs. I mean, he's just an amazing, amazing boy. <laughs> Were I in a little different situation, I'd probably take him, but I travel too much. And then we can start to work on the other be still, where we have him, I still press him a little against okay. my leg. There we go. And Good you can do boy. this standing or whatever. And just rub his body. And um, I'm instructing, so I'm talking to you. But normally I would do this pretty silently. Okay. Because, you know, he's already, like, taking in all the sensory input mm -hmm. and trying to deal with it. So, um... I wouldn't put an emotional report card on it as well, <laughs> you know, that he's yeah. good or bad or anything. You know, yeah. this is just, it's okay, buddy, you just be and I'm here to support you. Okay. It's more like that. Um, you know, it's not a behavior I have to mark or not mark. His body language will tell you everything we need to know. You know, when he's comfortable enough to just sort of stand here. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Yeah. And don't say good boy. Just let it be what it is. Okay. He'll, okay. he'll know. He'll know it's good because it feels good to him. All right. And he'll also know because I'm going to just give him a little release there. And then I might repeat it. So 10 to 20 times a day at home, both of these things. Everywhere you go. Just everywhere you go, you just keep repeating this so that we can give him. And really, when he goes to his next home... I want to be able to give them ways to relate to him and calm him down. That, I think, is the most important thing we can do for the dog. That's a boy. See, this time, he went out and explored a little bit. Did you see? He came and right back came and pressed back himself you. against my leg. So he's looking for the, having that sort of home base where he can calm, his, calm himself down. Now, would this be good to do on walks where he's now beginning yes. to listen to environmental sounds and react yep. to the birds and the nose is going? And yep. so this is good to stop on a walk and do the comments? That's my boy. That's Take what I'm looking for. <laughs> is it, and then see how he's moving around more slowly? Yeah. It doesn't have that hectic kind of frantic. Yeah, quality. franticness. That's what I really look there. See how different that looks? Yeah. That's what I'm can do for him. Good boy. That's right. And now he boy. can explore more slowly, and you see his tail start to come up too with a little yeah. bit more confidence. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's my boy I'm right here. Okay. So I would interrupt his behavior actually okay. every little bit and make him come in and relax okay. because he doesn't know how to do that, obviously, or yeah. he'd be doing it for himself. And you just wait with him a second. That's a boy. That also gives him an idea that he could stand in one place and kind of get the lay of the land a little bit just by being <laughs> and not have to be so worried about his safety. I can't imagine being him and being dropped at the Detroit Pound. Uh, well, that's why when... Um, what a we, phenomenal dog. When we got him, I, it's, he had just... You could tell, just shut down. I mean, well, he would have to to, to survive, know, survive he would have what he to. did, yeah. Because you would get so chronically stressed trying to keep track of everything there, yeah. and the smell of the fear and stress on the other dogs would be, you know, just yeah. very disturbing. Yeah. Oh. What are we doing there? Are we getting a little? <laughs> 
frisky? He'll probably become just just a little brat once you get him. Good, Westitude. That's right. <laughs> we terrier people. We kind of if they don't have that. that, we're like, what's wrong? With I them? know exactly. Good boy. Oh, there. look at the tail there now. There we go. The tail's come up an inch. Yeah, that's look a at boy. it. There and see now he's like, I can go back to her oh. and I can sort of center myself. And yeah, I and then go, go out and come back. And I'm going to give him a fixed lead. Okay. Because I don't, he doesn't need to just be going everywhere and doing stuff. That's just going to get him into trouble. Okay. Right? Possibly. Yeah. He needs to, that's a boy. Yeah. He, needs, he needs to find the anchor, so to speak, right? Oh, the grounding. He, really does. he okay. really does. And he might get a little frustrated <laughs> here, but he needs to, wow, what are you doing? He needs to get used to a little bit. Okay. Getting frustrated and having a way to cope with it. Okay. Right? Right. I mean, it's we all get frustrated is how Correct. we deal with it that determines whether we die young of coronary disease, yeah. <laughs> chronic yeah. stress, and cortisol crashes, or... No, um, he looks super comfy. Yeah. And so, see, he's... That activity is not always curiosity and comfort. Ah. Uh -huh. It's easy to go, oh, well, he's just curious. But from my point of view, it's easier for me to say, I bet he feels unsafe about his environment, and so he just feels like he has to constantly be sort of on the alert and exploring to keep himself safe. Well, that would make sense, because when he first came, yeah. um, he, he must have made a path of 500 laps in the kitchen. Oh, I know. And, you know, I've padded everything, room. but still. When he my gets money. the strength back in his legs, I can't believe somebody just craved him. Oh my God, good boy. There we go. There we go. But he could, if he shook before, he'd just topple. Oh, I can imagine. And he's still very weak. You know, but we're on our stuff. Way. I'm glad you're getting him into the hydrotherapy. That's the smartest thing you could do for him. That's Twice a week. Cool. We started at nine minutes yesterday, and Corey said maybe we'll build a minute today. Perfect. And then... Um, I can show you a film. Oh, I think I sent it to you. You did. And, and yep. went up to his neck. We just got him walking for a few minutes. Yeah. And then up to his neck. And she said, you know, swimming's the best thing because it relieves all the joints. But she says, I don't want to overwhelm him. That's well, Which that's I appreciate. Exactly right. Yeah. Well, she's wonderful. She's and such a she good took handle. it so slow. And I got in on, she's not in amazing. with her, but over the side and talked to him too. And. Mm -hmm. And so that's our plan. And, and see like there said, once again. Yeah, he back sure to you. He came up to me so he yeah. can get his sort of like, okay, we, here's the home base. Yeah. So I think rather than following it, it's more important that he has a home base that he can come back to. Okay. And then he can go explore a certain area. And here it's really open, so there's not much to explore. But the, the scent messages left by all the dogs is pretty I can't imagine. Pretty yeah. overwhelming. Sensory Probably overload like, here. Whoa, yeah. What a thick newspaper. Right. And I'm keeping just a little, you know, I, I don't mind if the leash is a little, but that way he can always feel where I'm at. Where you are. A little. Okay. I, yeah. I don't want him pulling because I right. suspect as soon as he gets his. So there, when it starts pulling, I'm going to fix my hand. It's one thing now where he's very weak, but as mm -hmm. soon as he's not weak, He's going to be an obnoxious puller if you just follow him around. Okay. And you know what? That doesn't help to place them. Right. You no, know, it's all about what we do to place them. Right. Hey, can your dog stay in the car for a little bit? Yes. Thanks. Good job, buddy. And so see there what I did when somebody's coming in, instead of letting him go out there to explore it, here. Back to you. Because you know what? That's a lot safer. If I'm walking him on the street, I don't know what all the dogs are like. Correct. I don't need him going, oh, I'm sure they're all friendly, and him running right up into the, because he can't read their language. Right. So we have to be very careful to be a good liaison and a good pre protector. And when he sees something like that or hears something, hears something like that, yeah. I would much rather he come to me and get him into that habit. I would do that with any normal dog. Mm -hmm. Back to you. That was a normal dog. You see right. something interesting, you come and talk to me about it. Mm -hmm. And it's even more important for him because of the safety level. 
Right. You know, I trust no one, and I don't trust any dogs, right. and I don't trust people because they do stupid things. Um, yes. And, you know, for a while, if anybody were going to hide me. So I don't need to say anything, like, by me or anything? He'll just, I mean, you're not, I know. <laughs> yeah. So. He's, because I've already taught him how to come and depend on me, and you can see how frequently, I mean, that's all voluntary now. Right. He's already like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he gets restless quick, and as soon as he's a little restless, he has to stay another second until he's relaxed. No, you're going to do it my way, sweetheart. Okay, that's good. There you go. That was wonderful. That's good, good homework for us, Guy. Yeah, so that's what I'd be thinking about is... All right. Good boy. And the shaking is shake off the stress. That is just the, yeah. the, you know, getting rid of God only knows how much tension. So, yeah, that's good stuff. I love it. It is, you know, I know hands-on, of course, is important, but this perspective of seeing you doing this and then I can go back and review it, is wonderful so thank you for well, you letting use me that film however you like okay you know, babe. that's um, you can post it wherever you think it will help people because 